what happened when I started to um, hear spirit again is I started hearing this name and it was Imelda, Imelda in my head. And I knew it was attached to my fiance's mother, so I'll call her my mother-in-law, but I just ignored it because I'd been ignoring messages most of my life. Um, so I just thought it'll go away, but I heard it over and over and over and over. And finally, after several weeks, I said, um, let me call her and see if this has meaning for her. So I called her and, um, I said, do you know who I Imelda is? And she said, my best friend growing up was Emelina. And she started to cry. And I knew that this message was for her from her friend who had passed. And um, sometimes with foreign names, I get a feel for the word, but not the word exactly. So um, the feeling I got was like, there's a feeling where your heart starts to beat faster and you know it's like a bingo. That's right. So then I got another name and I, I said, is her husband's name Roberto? And she started screaming and the phone went dead. And so I called her back and um, the phone ended up going dead like four or five times. And it was just the energy of spirit coming through the line. It happens sometimes. Um, so she said, um, they're in Miami or they, they were in Miami. And so she said, I really have to call, um, their son Eduardo and see how he's doing. So, um, the next day <clears throat> I got a text from my fiance saying that um, the day that I had given his mother the message, Eduardo had gone into the hospital and um, he ended up passing away. So his mother in particular was trying to contact me for weeks that her son was sick. Um, and so that's the first message I got after many years of, you know, first being able to really give someone a clear message that somebody was trying to get in touch with them. And then once I became open to that, the messages started to flow to me more regularly. Um, then I was telling one of my best friends about that, and she asked if I had a message for her, and a name came to me immediately. Um, and I said that name to her, and she said she knew someone who had died of, with that name. Um, I also came up with the last initial and she thought he had a different last name. So she, um, through Facebook, she looked up his wife and she had a different name. So she didn't think that was correct. Um, and so the next day she was sitting at a coffee shop in her old neighborhood and a, a guy came up to her and she asked him, about this guy's last name. His name was Bruce. And he said, um, yes, his last name starts with an S, just like your friend said. And he said, we are going to Joshua Tree today to spread his ashes. And my friend just started freaking out and she called me immediately and told me this. So the messages started getting clearer and clearer and more frequent. And I just started reading for friends and then friends of friends and then referrals and started to do readings and have clients.